You have three dogs already, I can yeah. see. <laughs> oh, no, these are just stuffed dogs oh, from good. over there. So what you're after today is your own real dog? Yes, a real dog. <gasps> Frenchie! <laughs> Frenchie! <laughs> We're kind of really open to anything, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. As, as long as it's a smaller, smaller breed, just okay. because we want him to be able to walk the dog. I don't want to get knocked over by no. the dog. No, we don't Who want that. Does, Who does, Who does? <laughs> yeah. For me, when Holly goes to work in the evening, it will be nice for me to be able to, you know, sit there with a the dog, cuddled up on the sofa when he's in bed. I sit there sometimes and I'm a get bit... Lonely. Get a bit lonely. So, yeah, I think it would just be... It'd be nice company for me. Do you worry about Chanel? Yeah. OK. We've had a rough couple of years, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. What's happened? Uh, my mum passed away last year. Quite a long time I've... <sighs> It's, it's, been, it's been a bit of an uphill struggle to kind of get myself back to normality. Yeah. And just having a dog, they can instantly bring, like, this really nice calm, and I think, like, it's something that... I think it's something that I need mm. just to kind of okay. bring me some peace. <laughs> oh, bless you. I completely, completely understand where you're coming from. Yeah, that distraction is really important. I loved spending time with my mum. We had the best times because, you know, it was sort of like she was the cool mum. She was the one that, you know, I said to my mum, you know, can, can I go get my nose pierced? And she was like, yeah, sure thing. <laughs> and the one thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to learn to live without her. You know, before I lost my mum, I was very outgoing. It's like I lost her and I... It sounds really sad, but, like, I, I lost me. Right? Mm -hmm. Don't be scared. Can't have a big cuddle. I've tried to comfort her or just be there for her, and she's just kept pushing and pushing and pushing, like pushing me away. I didn't know if me being there was helping, but when you love them, then you do what you can. We're not constantly like this. The other night I was serenading her with Shania Twain as she was going up to bed, you know. So we do have a lot of fun, it's just sometimes the sadness takes over. <sighs> oh my God. I can hear oh, yeah. No, calm down. <gasps> calm down. No, no, stop. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Calm down, calm down. Good boy. Hi. Hello. Oh, look. Hi. Oh, what a happy little dog. Look at his helicopter tail. Oh. <laughs> and he's just happy to be everywhere, aren't you, Rocco? Rocco, go get it. He's running. See. Bree, Bree, just get, let him have a minute. Hello. He wants to go up there. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so funny, isn't it? You could jump high. I mean, Rhi is loving this right now. He's yeah, got he's got so someone to play with. Ducky. Oh, look. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi. No, he's like, no, thank you. <laughs> no. Hey, what are you doing back there? I don't think he's interested in me, like, at all. I don't know. Give him some time. Yeah, we're definitely taking this one home. We have to make sure that it's the right dog for all of us, OK? Because mm. everything that we said that we wanted, he just hasn't come to you yet. No, but then it's kind of like, in time, will I get that? But then, what if, what if I don't? Does that make sense? I think after a year, I said to Holly, what if I'm, what if I'm going to be sad for the rest of my life? You know, that is a really scary sort of thought, like, am I going to be able to, you know, be me again? You don't like me at all, do you? I just so want it to work for them. them. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just not. After a meeting with Rocco the Jack Russell fell flat, it's back to square one for Chanel and her family. If that spark isn't there, it's not there, and you can't force that. We totally yeah. 
get that. Yeah, so you want something that's going to be more companionable for you. Oh, my God. I'm the fast part, aren't I? <laughs> at least no, it doesn't change. Not. Oh, thank you. Thank it's you so not much. It's got to be fussy. It's, it's got, got to be right. It. It's got to be right. To try and give you the best chance possible. Maybe Holly and Re just sit to the side mm -hmm. and I'm going to bring a dog in and go straight to you so you can have that initial moment. OK. People want to have the love at first sight moment and if that's not happening naturally then we do try and step in. Remember to stay calm though in case the dog's nervous. Oh! Dave! <gasps> oh God! Here you come in! Oh, oh my God! Who's in here? Oh, oh, oh. Who's in here? Oh, Who's this lady over here? Hello! Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go over here first! Hiya! Let's go over here first! Yeah. You go say hi! Oh, God, say hi. So he, this is Marley. Oh. So Marley was a little stray. Oh. Um, lap dog wise, he does really love to cuddle. Really loves He's to cuddle. He's very cute, isn't he? Yeah. He's so cute. if I give you his lead yep. and see how we get on, okay? Hey. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Good boy. It's okay. How cute Marley. is he? Marley, come here. There you go. Molly, what's this? What's oh. this? What's this, baby? Sit. Molly, come here. Molly, what's this? Molly. Do you want to take a treat? Yeah, take a treat and then see if he wants to come to you with a treat. Hey. Molly, what's this? What's this? What's oh. this? Oh, good boy. Oh. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You little my baby. I never thought I'd see the day you'd let a dog lick your face. <laughs> <laughs> Charnel's whole demeanour is completely different. It's amazing how dogs can do that to you, isn't it? Right, sit. Is that I am? Oh. Oh, yeah. There are tons of people out there that have lost their parents. I'll be sad that she's not there, like when me and Holly finally get married, but it's something I'm really looking forward to, and that's that's what I want. I want to be able to, you know, make beautiful memories with my family. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, honey, oh, honey. Oh, <laughs> oh. I got right up my nostril. Do you like it? I love you it. You love it. <laughs> yeah. You happy? He was like so fluffy and cute, I just wanted to pop his little face off. <laughs> <laughs> you mean in a nice way, though, right? In a nice way. <laughs> Molly. <laughs> he sold. He's mine. <laughs> because Marley didn't have much of a background, that was a worry. Like, when you hear the word stray, it's quite, like, you go into, like, that unpredicted sort of ground. Yeah. Look, he's riding the doggy. <laughs> Ray so talked yeah. about Marley for a long time. Mm -hmm. Are you going to say yes to Marley? So we gave him our answer, which was obviously a <laughs> big yes. Big, big yes. Marley! Anticlimactical. Molly! You hear his little footsteps. Come on then, come on, Molly! Come on. Oh, oh no. mm, baby. Oh, oh lovely. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah. mm. He's that the man of the house. He's the man of the house. He's the man yeah. of the house. Oh yeah, she's so nice. Can you speak? <laughs> Good boy! <laughs> I don't even want a Frenchie anymore. I don't even want a pug anymore. I want Marley. Marley's the best dog in here. Marley, leave. <laughs> Marley! <laughs> Marley! Marley! The companionship that I longed for, I've definitely found it in Marley. I mean, you didn't find it in me for four and a half years, but she found it in a dog. I mean, you did say you're marrying me, not the dog, right? <laughs> He will be involved in a little tux. Yeah. And then Ree can walk him down the aisle with the rings. How cute. That would be pretty OK, cool. I'll, I'll marry you now then, yeah. That's fine then. <laughs>